sitting today um, my friend Jermaine's uh, dogs he's trusted me to look after them so this is Braxton and Hudson and this is Hudson hello um, Braxton's quite protective uh, it's funny filming this back and watching it and remembering on this day, Braxton, so the one sitting next to me, usually isn't very clingy, but she wouldn't kind of stay away from my side. She will go away and come back throughout the whole three hours I was looking after her. She was, I don't know, a lot more clingy to me than usual. And I don't know if she could sense that I wasn't myself, which is really interesting. I did notice it on the day, but watching this back, um, made me actually think about that. Maybe, I don't know, you dog owners out there probably know if dogs can sense when you're not yourself. Does that make sense? She's used to me because Braxton, he had Braxton first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I had my surgery. Uh... <laughs> mm. So I had my surgery uh, three days ago now. And uh, yeah, I feel okay. It is quite painful. Uh, it was on my stomach. So uh, I had two uh, things done. One was I had, uh, I had a weak uh, muscle on my abdomen and over time I just, it just became weaker. So yeah, uh, they had to, stitch that back up, repair it. And then above that, I had a big lump of fat under the skin, which they had to remove. So, uh, yeah, it isn't too bad, but it is uncomfortable. Like I'm walking like a granddad um, <laughs> and it's tough at the moment. I can't train for six to eight weeks. Um, I'm trying to be as positive as possible, but I'm not going to be lie. It's, it's, it's tough. It's hard. And um, yeah, I said to my friend Jermaine that I needed, uh, I needed to look after the doggos to keep me company. So yeah, six to eight weeks to recover, no training whatsoever, because obviously tension on the abs. You don't realize how much pressure we put on our abdomen to do everything. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I don't know, it's nerve wracking. Right? And I'm used to being so active and the fact that I can't do anything is really tough. But, yeah, it'll be okay, it'll be fine, I'm sure, eventually. Uh, yeah, till then, you know, just rest, recover. I still have some work to do, so it'll give me time to catch up on work, do a lot more reading, and, uh, yeah, hopefully at some point maybe travel again. Because I was actually aiming to travel after the surgery, maybe like two weeks after, and then the surgeon was like, well, how are you going to lift your suitcase? And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> so that's not going to happen for a while. But yeah, till then, dog sitting, watching, catching up on a lot of anime, reading, and um, hopefully trying to do more vlogs. Luckily, I did a lot more bodybuilding videos, so it would be fine. But um, yeah. Is, it's going to be a lot of mental strength, really. Uh, just the fact that I can't do something that I've always done for 12 plus years and really passionate about. And, uh, you know, when I had the eye surgery, it wasn't too bad because I could walk a lot and I could train after three weeks. But with this one, physically I can't train. And like, the, it's just that pain. Uh, but yeah, I was very nervous, but I feel much better. I'm feeling much better each day. Um. <laughs>